I spent two days in the garden show. You're seeing the results of the first day. I took home quite a few bags. One of these contained pesticides and fungicides from Eco Organic Garden. Unlike the other products I've been using so far, this one's claimed to be perfectly safe for beneficial insects like bees, ladybirds, and lace wings. It even attracts them. It also claims having a reduced risk of foliage burn and no withholding period. It even goes as far as saying that it is safe to use on veggies and ornamentals, even to the extent that you can spray and eat on the same day. Check out their website for more details. Eco oil is an organic miticide and pesticide, which should be perfectly safe. I'm not sure if it is systemic, so at the moment I'm leaning towards it being contact based. I bought a ready to use 750ml bottle. I also got a ready to use eco fungicide. It also claims to have no withholding period, making it perfectly safe for edible plants. The promises made by eco oil got me so intrigued, I decided to also grab a 1 liter concentrate pack. I got all of these at discounted show prices. Now it's time to start looking at the plants. First up is the Crassula perfoliata var minor, previously known as Crassula falcata, and more commonly known as a propeller or airplane plant. It takes its name from the way the leaves grow along the stem. Next up is the Kalanchoe humilis with its tiger-like markings. It takes its name from the Latin word which means low, humble, or flat, an obvious reference to the flat leaves. Finally, the last of this set is the Senecio Haworthy with its woolly appearance. I have previously added this to my collection a long time ago, but some of them have either burnt or succumbed to rot, so I figured I should replace them. Next up are plants that I've bought from James Lucas of Succulents Australia Sales. Most of them are freelies, with some exceptions.
And now for the plant that I came here for. In a previous episode, I have discussed my plan to use tulips in my garden since they are xeriscape friendly. In other words, they work well in a drought tolerant garden. I bought several packs of bulbs and I will be using this chance to learn how to grow them. If things go well, I will purchase a lot more varieties next year. The tulips came with a free packet of sunflower seeds, but according to the directions, we have to sow this in spring. So I'm going to keep the summer safe until then. I told myself that I won't be buying today, but... six packets of bulbs, tulip bulbs, and I haven't really figured out the arrangement that I'm going for, but I've been watching several instructional videos on how to plant bulbs. I think I've come up with a plan. Generally with these things, you would want to plant them spaced a bit apart. So to start with, you would have to dig a hole, which is about maybe half a foot deep, and that's roughly about 15 to 20 centimeters and one of the tips that I found online is that for best visual effect rather than planting them in rows they don't really look as nice if you have them planted in rows a style recommendation that I got was to either plant them in a triangular formation or circular that way they would look a bit dense and when once the flowers come up there would be an illusion of having more flowers than the number of bulbs that you planted in and then also comes the issue the growing space. As you can see we haven't completely finished cleaning up the space yet. There's still a lot of plants over here. These are some uh, these are a bunch of chilies and eggplants. And over at the far end are more vegetables. I'm thinking that somewhere around here would be the tulip area. And right behind me would be the Patreon space 
So as soon as I get rid of all of the soil here, I will be moving Rick Astley as well as the other future Patreon pots over at this side. That way they would be more prominent. Speaking of Patreon, I'd like to thank my Patreon supporters. It's you, Oscarino, Julie Seal, Snap Kui, Camille Cerillo, Gloria Ninotti, and everyone else. Thank you so much for your continued support. They're a huge help for me because it allows me to continue working on this and other projects that I have down the line. You could check out my Patreon by heading over to patreon.com slash seriscapades, but you're not obligated to do so. Just you right here watching my videos, that's enough support for me. I would like to mention Oscarino once more for sponsoring this Kante. It's a pretty cool thing for you to do, man. And if you haven't seen it yet, I highly advise you to watch the video about this. You can click on the link somewhere here, or you could check it out in the description down below. Again, thanks, man. In the next episode, I would like to be able to clear out the space in preparation for planting all of these bulbs. There's a lot of pots and rocks to shift around just to define the layout, so I will be having a good think about the layout in the next episode, I guess. I think I should plan this out a bit more. And if you were expecting to see an episode about the Flower and Garden show, I am thinking that I might upload it as a standalone video rather than placing it as part of the Let's Plant series. Because there's going to be a lot of footage to go through and I, I think it will take me quite a while before I finish working on it. But I think it would be worth the wait. I was also thinking that if I don't get to work on relaying the layout of that thing where I'm going to place the tulips then maybe I could just work on an, an overdue, well, not yet overdue but we're due another garden update, one for March. So I think it's a perfect time to do it since I have the new plants. And lastly, before I end this video, I'd like to announce that April marks the end of the daylight savings time here in Melbourne. And that means that I would have one less hour of daylight in the afternoon to work on my garden. And from then on, until we reach the winter solstice, our days, our daylight would be getting progressively shorter and shorter. Which means I won't have much time to film, to film stuff for Let's Plant. And because of that, unfortunately I might have to tweak my schedule again. So instead of coming out with two Let's Plant episodes per week, I might have to tone it down, go down to... We're going down to one episode a week. I'm probably picking Mondays. So from April onwards, Let's Plant will be coming out every Monday. But don't get too sad, so I'm currently working on another series which doesn't require me to be out and about in the garden. Unlike Let's Plant, which is more vlog in nature, or a video log, this new series will be more educational, and it doesn't require me to be always out and about in the garden. That means I can work on it anytime, during the day or night, if I choose to do so. And it would require minimal filming outdoors, unless I just need to in Unless I just need to include a few clips here and there just for visual aids. But I think I've got enough clips from the entire season of Let's Plant. I could probably reuse some of those clips to serve as a visual guide or a demonstration of the things that I'm going to say in the new series. And just so it's not a complete mystery what this new project is, I'm going to reveal the title now. It will be called Seriscapedia. Get it? As you can tell from the name, it's going to have an education focus. The idea is that I'm going to extract all of the lessons that I've been sharing in my Let's Plan series and put them in self-contained episodes. That way you don't have to go through each of the Let's Plan videos since this time you could be able to search for them by topic. I'll be putting out a trailer about it within the next few days or weeks depending on how soon I finish it. Because right now I'm at the concept and pre-planning stage. I'm working on a prototype, I'm trying to, to nail down the look and feel of the video. Basically working out the little details. But as I flesh this out more, I'll be putting out another video explaining what the whole thing is about. So, until then, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.